Hi guys, I'm Shmi and good morning to you from Milan in Italy where we're in store for a rather special treat today because we're going to be heading to the Pagani factory near Bologna. So today is the day my friend Greg B23 is going to be collecting his new Pagani Quira BC. It is a truly special car and we're going to be driving down as a little convoy of cars from here in Milan to get over to the factory to take a look around for collection day. Now this is not of course the first time that Greg B23's cars have been in my videos. I've driven his Maserati MC12, I've driven his Ferrari Enzo F50, F40 and 288 GTO back to back. Today we're heading down for the Huayra BC so let's wait for my ride to come along and we'll be on the road. RS6 time, perfect car for the occasion. Right, let's get on the way. For the rest of this drive, I'm gonna be jumping into the Maserati Levante. I've never been in one before actually, but this is gonna be my ride for the rest of the journey out of Milan today, in the direction of Pagani. Pagani factory. Let's head straight in to the new Pagani museum sort of at the front of the factory and I've never been in here but we'll head up that way in a second. First let's come straight through to the main event. Well there's something right in front of us before we even get there. The Zonda Tricolore in the blue carbon with the gold wheels and the Tricolore stripes. The red white and green of the Italian flag. There are three of those. That looks really nice but let's come straight past because lurking here behind the curtains is what we're here to see today. Greg's new Huayra BC and the covers are going to come off that any moment. But before they do so, let me head round and take a look at the new museum itself and all the other cars, the Zondas and the Huayras that are lurking in here. A whistle stop tour then and what's interesting is this is basically Horatio Pagani's private collection with the exception of the one wire on the left but each and every car has its own story so let's have a quick look through them. We get started with his Formula 2 car that he built and raced when he was 21 so automotive in his blood from a very early stage. Then we've got the Kuntash 25th anniversary which is a car he was involved in designing so the ducts and vents you see around the car were part of the special edition of the Kuntash. Then we move to the Zonda. Of course, this is where it started really for Pagani. This is car number six. It was the first car that was presented in full carbon fiber, which is of course so important to everything now. And it looks so good as well. Then we move on to another Zonda S, car number 18, the Nürburgring record setter, seven minutes and 44 seconds in 2002. So quite a significant machine too. Then we have the first Zonda F, car number 51, looking good in the silver and carbon. But this is another Zonda F, which to me is such a nice color combination. We've got the red with the gold wheels. I just think it looks beautiful and truly stands out for a supercar. Beyond that, the Zonda Cinque Roadster. Cinque, Italian word for five. There were five coupes, five roadsters, and it's pretty much, I think, one of the most iconic defining versions of the Zonda and a very popular one amongst the internet too. And this one's been brought back into the collection. After that, we've got one of the earliest sort of design molds of the Huayra. Next to that, the Huayra prototype, one of the first cars that was driven out on the road and it's done 400,000 kilometers. We move on to the Zonda Revolution, the track only, non-street legal, insane version of the Zonda. Another record holder and doesn't it just look insane? After that, we've got Zonda La Nonna, the grandmother. And this is basically one of the first prototype Zondas that's been built up through every version. It was formerly called Nono for grandfather, but it basically started as a normal Zonda, became an S, an F, a Cinque, and now a 760 with the full sort of final spec. And then we've got the Huayra I mentioned with the Parquetto Tempesta, the upgrade package for a more sort of sporty drive, louder exhaust, different wheels. And that was launched a few years ago. Just finally hear the engines because they're so beautiful. We've got the six liter bi-turbo V12 from the Huayra 
and the naturally aspirated 7.3 of the Zonda. But this is quite a nice collection, amazing to be able to see it. But we should head now over to the main event, because it is time for Mr. Horatio Pagani himself to take the wraps of Greg B's new Quira BC. <laughs> So then, this is it. The Huayra BC, Greg B23's Huayra BC. It is in green, visible carbon fiber. You've got glossy carbon, and on the lower parts, you've got the sort of satin as well. But the green and orange, which are kind of becoming Greg's signature colors. So you've got the orange stripe that runs up all the way through the car, the Pagani text on the rear wing, the new wing, of course, for the BC itself. You've got the flaps currently sitting up, which quite amusingly have a QR code on the underside. I'm not sure where that takes you at the moment. Um, we've got the Huayra BC logo in orange too, that's sort of milled out of a single piece, always quite impressive too. Coming round, you've got, well I talked about the BC when it launched um, at the Geneva Motor Show last year, but roughly speaking 800 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque, 6 litre twin turbocharged AMG V12 back there, rear wheel drive of course. But wow, this is a spectacular piece of kit. Just look at the way this is done. The Huayra BC logo here on the front splitter. The orange sort of, I guess, mount that holds that in place. It is super, super aggressive down there. But everything about it is just a work of art. Look at the way the door mirrors are finished again in the satin, but with the tricolore on the end of the mirror there. Wow, 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 wow. And if you look, you'll notice that the sides of the car are green but the inside of the car is actually normal, regular black carbon fiber. So you've got that carrying through over the body of the car. It's quite hard to see with the light here, but what a reveal. Now let's open up the gullwing door. Look at the way that opens. And the inside, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You've got the sort of tan leather mixed with even some green carbon fiber here in the center around the uh, gear shift controller, of course, seven speed sequential. Wow, number eight out of 20. Only 20 of these being made. The Huayra BC Coupe. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is the Carbotanium tub. So this car's 130 kilos lighter than the already light regular Huayra. It's quick and it's an experience and a half. And I actually went around a track in a Huayra BC last year too. Estoril in Portugal. BC stands for Benny Caiola, one of the earliest sort of Pagani customers. And this is sort of created in tribute to him. But wow, just looking around it, everything about it. The details, the time that's gone into, I guess, planning everything, having satin carbon here, the satin carbon on the headlights around. This is a car and a half. My goodness. I'm in awe just looking at it. And I'm sure it doesn't translate quite as properly as I actually see it because of the way the light is in the room. But my gosh, breathtaking. <laughs> in the sunshine. It's very bright, bright winter's day here. Wow. Out it comes. Wow. 
while the car is out on the road, I want to show you this box of goodies that came with it. So along with a nice sort of matching the interior finished bag, there's a race suit, a Pagani race suit, even embroidered Huayra BC, all the sort of accompanying race gear, helmet, gloves. Here we've got the block for the logo on the rear of the car. Literally, that's the outline, what's left of it. Then a second set of wheels that stores away down at the bottom, again with the orange trim around the outside, one for race, one for road. That's quite a nice sort of race box um, display piece to come with the car as well. And it's back, which means it's going to be my turn to jump in. Okay then, door up, in we step. Pull that down. Wow, the turbo noise in here is amazing. swap around because I'm gonna have a go. A short little drive in the BC. Um, not overly planned, but let's jump in. Pull the door down on the driver's side. Okay then. So, here we are in the driver's seat of the Pagani Huayra BC. Okay, let's give this a go. Into first gear. Very carefully we do this, because this is a brand new car. And, uh, yeah, off we go. So, goodness me, the drama. Okay, this is incredible. Gosh. Utterly ridiculous. Gives you so much of a kick. I'm a little bit speechless right now, thank you Greg. The view looking out over the mirrors, over the wings to see the mirrors. This is absurd, I'm driving a Huayra PC. <laughs> what a day! This one in a hurry. And we return from this little adventure on board the BC and even having a go at the wheel. This is surreal and so, so, so epic. Wow. What a dream. And off. I grab the key actually. I'll show you that. That's nice. How does it go? Put it together. BC. Stunning. And the front is open. You can see the raw carbon on the underside there. Very cool. In fact, we have a transformer right now with the doors up and the boot or the engine bay open too. But come around here and you've got the engine. Handcrafted by Michael Kublar, F1 Mike, the man I visited at the AMG factory just a few weeks ago in a falter back. If I open up the storage box on the side, you've got one of these on each side, 
but inside is some bespoke luggage again to match with the orange logo even the green carbon fiber on the top so you've got one of these on each side close that back up inside the carbon casing for the luggage there and did you know there's a storage pouch here where you can literally put a bottle and that's only accessible when the door's up because when it goes down that's obviously in the hinge and you've got the sort of phone pouch or whatnot on the inside and another Huayra drives by I've jumped back in the car because there are a few more things that I would like to show you and firstly I'm going to start it up so obviously the key is in the centre, foot on the brake and let's give that a turn Excuse the beeping, that's because my seatbelt's not done up, but that will go away again in a second. And then you've got that central display there, and you've got the built-in infotainment system here. Now this is actually the only BC to have Apple CarPlay and the speaker system installed as well, because typically that would be taken out for weight savings. But you've got all your sort of controls here. We're in climate at the moment, but you can go back into your uh, uh, Strumenti, I think it's called, Chronometro, the lap timer, and back to the home screen, music, all your settings. Uh, everything you expect to have through here, telephone, all of those bits and pieces, but everything in here is so beautiful. The way you can see through the shifter here, all the sort of, well, the window toggles and everything there, just everything is finished so, so nicely. You've got the lights on the roof um, and the launch control toggle here as well. Didn't even realize that was up there. That's uh, pretty neat. The dials just look beautiful. You've got your controller here for your drive modes. Uh, the different settings you have it in, comfort, sport, race, here, see off, or winter if you're so inclined to drive your Huayra BC in winter, lights, indicators on the, uh, on the steering wheel, wowzers, everything is just so nice, the finish is beautiful, the materials, the carbon, this is phenomenal, there are some seat covers, uh, not seat covers, what do you call them, suit covers hanging behind the seats here with the full luggage set, it's throughout the car, what? a phenomenal place. This is, this is a lot more than just a car. And a 911R goes by. Just look at that thing. So sadly, this is basically the end of this video, but what an awesome day this has been. Joining Greg B to collect this unbelievable car. There really are no words to properly explain this. Just look at the way every single thing has been thought about. The details, the green, the black carbon, the satin, the gloss, the orange stripes, the accents, the badges, the wheels, the spec, even the interior, everything about it. And you might have noticed if you're a sort of eagle-eyed viewer, it's a US spec car. This car's actually heading over to the US to be registered over there, um, which is kind of cool as well. It's now got the uh, ability to head over that way. But this is, this is the, I guess, absolute top end of Pagani. This is the Huayra BC, and this is Greg's new amazing car that he very, very, very kindly allowed me to have a go at behind the wheel, which is utterly ridiculous. I'm a little bit speechless at everything that's happened today, and I've got a flight to head to pretty shortly to get back to the UK, but this has been awesome. Please do go and follow Greg. His Instagram link is in the description box down below, and it's a big thanks to him for allowing me to come along today and share this video and the Huayra BC with you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've certainly had a pretty awesome day, but that is it for this time. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.